Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Godless Gamer, and this is episode number 19 in my series, Rome Reborn, where I am recreating the Roman Empire in Crusader Kings 3. I welcome you for anybody who's joining us for the first time, and I also want to remind everybody that the link for the first video in the series will be in the description of this one, just in case you want to go back and get started with us. We are pretty far along, this is episode 19, but there's still a lot to do, so let's do it. We got Rome in the last episode, which is really great. We were able to capture Rome here, and we got it, and we made it our capital. Our old capital was Palermo, but we moved it to Rome now, which is where it's supposed to be. Um... What else do we need to do before we get started here? Uh, let me check my council. Alright, looks like my Chancellor can stay on his task. Or, actually, no. I'm gonna sway this guy. Yeah, I'm going to sway this duke. I'm going to take my chancellor off. And I'm going to have him start integrating titles. Now, why? Because I need it done. It takes It's going to take 49 years. But I need to start integrating some of these duchies here. Into my title of Roma. So right now, only the dukes within this red area... I am their du jour liege. Any dukes outside of this red area or this Kingdom of Rome title here, anything outside of this, I'm not getting the full contribution that I should be getting. So, like, look. This duke in Sardinia is suffering a penalty. Levies and tax are reduced as you are not this guy's liege. And now, in order for him to become my liege, or in order for me to become his liege, I need his duchy to be de jure part of my kingdom and right now i can't i can't start doing this for anywhere else but in anywhere else than spoleto here so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have him doing that i don't need him on domestic affairs and i don't need to be on foreign affairs right now i'm just gonna have him do this it's gonna take a while but any progress that he gets done while he's doing it even if i switch him off of it the progress will stay so i'm just gonna have him do that Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this claim up here because we have three enemies that we're gonna be warring with here the Pope Tuscany and Pisa but I don't have a claim here in Pisa yet so in order like I'm gonna try to get as much conquest as as I can in this episode and having three enemies on our border will help because then I can just declare three separate wars and just get get through them I won't have to wait for truces. So he's going to convert, or he's going to fabricate a claim here. We are going to go to war with Tuscany here to grab Siena. Which is actually going to be like the first thing that I do. Yeah, my, my truce with the Pope is going to end in 15 months. So let's quickly grab Siena right now. Uh, make sure that this, this truce... Uh, we, we end the war as qu quick as possible with Tuscany so we can get that truce started earlier so it'll end earlier. So we I'm just going to go right for Tuscany right now ASAP before I even unpause. Because we can win. Tuscany doesn't have any allies. He's only got 745 men. So I'm jumping on it right now. Roman legions assemble. Go get that for me. Conquer Sienna for your lord. We're going to be able to go on a pilgrimage, but I have to wait till the war to end. War is over. As I open my eyes in the dark, I am immediately overwhelmed by an, an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me?
No, I don't want to be a witch. It's like the last thing I need right now. Alright, I'll lose some opinion, but it's fine. A witch is going to lose some opinion from me. I don't think I really care. We'll try to end this war as fast as possible. How's my line of succession? Alright, I still have one son that I need to convince to take the vows. But he's not 10 yet, so we'll worry about that. And I forgot my heir doesn't have any boys yet. And his wife is getting close to the age where she's not going to be having kids anymore. So they need to start having kids ASAP. They need to start having boys ASAP. Put on some music, light some candles, and get it on because I need some <laughs> I need some boy heirs. If, if if she doesn't get pregnant and have a boy soon, that could be that could become an issue for me. We'll get this siege done, then we'll go attack him. get him boys he got away come on really he's just gonna circle back for the war target i hate when they do that do i have any stress no i don't care i'll take the prestige All right, he's just gonna go back for the war target and we're just gonna kill him Now we have to take the capital. Because that wasn't enough. Ooh, I got a I got a secret on one of my dukes. Alright, cool. What we're gonna do with that is we are going to find him on the list. 100 percent He's gonna accept it. Nice. We're gonna take a little bit of stress because I'm just, but that's fine. I like getting hooks on my dukes because I like to do this. Forced partition succession rights. Boom. I'm going to try to get that into all of my Duke's contracts. I'm going to pet Uranus. Thank you, Uranus. What a good dog. All right, I gained some stress, but I got some lifestyle experience. I'm going to go on a hunt to get that down. We'll get that down back. Back down. Sorry. I don't know. They both have really good opinion of me. But this guy's terrified. This guy's terrified of me. You can, uh, it's not letting me... He's not... He's only intimidated, but this guy's terrified. It's not letting me show you. But anyway. I can afford a little bit more penalty... Or I can afford a, an opinion penalty from him. More. But he's gonna be... He can have a minor health penalty for... Let's just belt this guy. 
It's acting like a child and will be punished like one. Alright, I got a, another lifestyle perk. I'm gonna grab Heart of the Family and I'm actually gonna get out of Diplomacy. I wanna go back into Domain. Or into Stewardship. I just got plus one more Domain. So this is gonna be a free county. I don't have to give anything away now. Nice. Alright, our true should be over with the Pope. Nope, four months. I'll take that back. Alright, oh my god, yes. Okay, okay. Alright, everybody. We need a boy. We need this woman. We need our daughter-in-law to give birth to a boy. It'll secure our line of succession. We don't have a grandson yet, so this... She needs to give birth to a boy. How far in is she? All right, three months. We'll find out in three months. Please be a boy, please. Please be a, a boy with genius and Amazonian, like, like his sister. Speaking of which, we need to educate her. Her mom can have her. Or no. I'll give her to Norman the Norman. I'm walking my dog. Oh, I thought this was my... Oh, I was about to be happy. No, this is my other son. See, my other son's doing well. He's having... He's having boys. Crassus. Okay. Oh my god. Please be a boy. Please, I need a boy. Once I know we have a boy, I will be comfortable with my line. Yes. Yes, that's what we needed. And he got two. Not Where did Comely come from? All right, he didn't get his mom. He didn't get Amazonian from his mom. He got Comely. This Comely trait just came out of nowhere. All right, we have a boy. We have a grandson. You know what his name is. I know what his name is. It's Julius. All right, that's good. Alright, I was worried because I also married them old. She's 35. She doesn't have a lot of time left to have kids. I mean, obviously. I mean, she's still got a lot of life to live, but she's only got 10 more years of childbearing, so it's good that we got one. I wouldn't mind another son, but at least we got one out of the way. Speaking of sons... Alright, this rowdy trait is getting in the way. Minus 50. But he is he is the ward of my archbishop. Let's hope he gets the zealous trait. If he gets zealous, we're set. Is the truce over with the Pope? 16 days. Alright, in 16 days we're going to go to war with the Pope. I am going to hire some mercenaries just to make sure that we win it.
Because he's just going to do what he did last time, and he's just going to spawn army and spawn army and spawn army. Let's do it. We're gonna grab Tivoli now. I'll raise my army, hire some mercenaries, call some allies. And win. There are fair stretches of unsettled land in the county of Abruzzi. Often blamed on unsuitable terrain. I might get a stewardship perk and get a new aqueduct. I might get a stewardship perk. Irrigation. I have the money. Let's try for an aqueduct. We're Romans. And Romans build aqueducts. I will design an aqueduct. Alright, we're gonna hire some mercs. Just to make sure we got the win. We do have allies coming, but I do want to make sure that I win. I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to lose this war. See, he's just going to spawn armies. I'll give it a shot. Alright, whatever. Alright, when we win this war, we're gonna be over our domain again. I'm gonna have to give something away. Here comes the al our ally. Alright, if he's gonna siege Rome, that's fine. It's gonna take him... Alright, I got the Pisa claim. It's gonna take him a long time. It's gonna take him three years to siege Rome. It's gonna take me four months to get him. If if we get the siege done and we capture the Pope, we win. This guy's coming to pay me homage, alright? Give me your money. Okay, and my uh, ally just ditched me. We didn't need him anyway, but... Continue pro- wow. Wow, that cost me a lot of money, but it's done. Alright, don't care. If you feel, fulfill the requirements. Alright, I'm not the Pope. I just took the Pope's hat. Yeah, I'll keep it. And while I'm looking at this screen, let me repair some stuff. I want to see if I put my character wears it. No. <laughs> no. He's, he doesn't wear it. Alright, I'm going to put my crown back on. If I was the Pope, I'd be getting all this, but I'm not. And it doesn't decay, apparently. I'm 
I'm gonna switch these out. Yes. Alright, I got a stewardship perk out of it. At least I got a stewardship perk, even though it cost me four billion dollars to do it. Yeah. My sway is going good, alright. Um, do I want to make more money or do I want to increase? Like this tree is good for like vassal opinion and stuff. See vassal opinion. But money wouldn't be bad. Tax contribution. All right, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go get avaricious. I want money. All right, unfortunately, he just spammed a whole bunch of armies while I wasn't paying attention. So we have to hope we win this. We had just enough. Those mercenaries helped. I hope we win this. Come on. Okay. We're gonna win again, but this is way too close for comfort. I don't like how the Pope just, just spawns armies. Please let us win after this. Uranus ran away. Well, I'm not chasing after Uranus, so. Please win the war, please win the war, please win the war. Nope. Thank you. Here they come again. Round three. Oh, and now my ally decides to show up. Now he decides to show up. Right as the battle is ending, like literally as the battle's about to end, he gets here. Alright, let's just end this war. I'm just gonna assault the fort and end it. All we have to do, all we have to do is capture this holding and we won. End it. Yes. I got a net. Oh, cool. I got a holy order. So, holy orders. Um, if I'm, if I'm at war with somebody with a hostile faith, like if I start going to war with like uh, Muslim nations or uh, Arab nations, I can call these guys in for free. So that's 3,700 guys. When I start going to war with these guys, 
I'll be able to call in my holy order free of charge because I have because they're leasing this castle. See, Grandmaster Adriana. So because I have uh, an, a holy order in my domain, I'll be able to call them for free. Nothing. I'm going to start increasing control in Tivoli now. And I do have to give away a domain now. I'm back over my limit. But me and my son are fighting with each other, apparently. I'll take the chance. I'm a good steward. Yep. I lost. I, I saved some. Alright. Our armor is like tin foil wrapped with like paper mache. So let's have this. Uh, let's have her. I'm going to sponsor this inspiration. She's considered a master by her peers. So maybe we'll get some really good armor out of this. My armor is horrible. Yeah. Tin plated dirt. All right, don't care, don't care, stop. No, I don't like it. Uh, stop. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about them. Their names mean nothing to me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's going on? What's going on? Alright, uh, new claim on Florence. Because this is the capital of Tuscany. So let's grab that next. We can actually go to war with Pisa next, but let's grab... Let's give away a land. We are over one, so let's give away something. It's either going to be Palermo or Napoli. Palermo's making 6.0. Napoli's making 7.7. .7. Alright. Roman, good personality, decent stewardship. Who's unlanded. Alright, he's got a great personality. But he's got, like, one stewardship. He might be okay, but he's five. I'll keep him in mind. The first guy was still the best. This relevance bar does a good, does a good job. It doesn't make a, do a good job at putting the more relevant ones at the top. All right, I think I'm gonna give it to this guy. Is he married? Right now. I don't care though. He's young enough that he'll get married. He'll marry himself, but he has the best stewardship, and he does have this patient trait, which will make him a nice vassal. So that's all the land in Sicily that I own is now under a vassal. The next thing I give away is going to be Napoli, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to go to war with Pisa now. Quickly grab our claim here at Pisa. And then... Well, what are the truces like? Alright, my war with Tuscany is over. Can I go to war with them? Alright, so we gotta wait. Okay, so once this claim is done, I will grab Firenze. Firenze? I think, that's an, I think there's an E under this flag, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Florence. It's Florence. So I'm just going to call this Florence. So we're going to grab Pisa. Once the claim on Florence is done, we'll grab Florence. 
and then once that's done, we'll be able to hopefully take the last... Well, maybe we'll have to little bit wait a little bit. It's five years, so this truce is going to last a while, but once that's over, the Pope is done. No more Pope. So let's grab Pisa. They're allied with Provence. So are we. Alright, let's hope they take the right side. I don't care. Even if they come and attack us, I'm we're gonna win. But I'm gonna wait for my army, actually. Jump in the gun a little bit. I'm gonna wait for my army to get back up to full strength. Alright, we got a secret on a vassal, but it's a baron. It's useless. We want secrets on dukes or better. Because we can edit their contracts. See, I, I want to get all of my dukes with force partition. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go. Quick and fast. We just I gotta pay attention to see if Provence joins wars, joins the war on their side. I don't think they will. They knew, they know who's gonna win. They're not gonna mess with us. to give away Napoli after this war is over. Nope, just another Baron. Eleven months. Alright, this is improving our armor. Oh, we get to choose what the modifier will be. Casualties modifier or knight-related modifier? Yeah, let's do that. To encourage my knights to greatness. Alright, we got two months on this siege. They have nine. We're gonna win. Once we capture Luna, we win. Or Looney. Sorry. Alright. Alright, that's Pisa done. Let's give away Napoli. This guy looks good. Good stewardship. Roman. Good personality traits. He's, re he's de uh, reasonably young. Alright. That was easy, guys. I'm going to be getting a little bit faster. I mean, if you want to... I'm, I'm going to avoid trying to get too explainy as to why I'm giving things away to certain people. We are, we are 19 episodes in, so I would hope that whoever's here has been joining us and kind of understands my like my decision making process but um for the most part i'm gonna be i'm gonna be trying to speed up the process i'm not gonna explain why i'm giving it to everybody oh i'm gonna try to minimize that at least because i do want to kind of streamline things and make things go a little bit quicker here so we are back down back down to our domain limit when's our next truce over 
four years with the Pope, five years with them. Fifty gold is nothing to me right now. So we gotta wait for this fabrication. Once this fabrication is over, we'll grab uh, Florence. So I think that's what we're waiting for right now. Let's let's check that people are being educated and stuff while I'm thinking about it. I'll give her to my wife. That's nice. Let's do diplomacy. I don't think we have a lot of diplomacy people. Yeah. His, his handsome trait boosts his diplomacy. Let's do diplomacy. Let's give him a good teacher. I'll give her to my wife. Just works for diplomacy. Diplomacy per level of fame. Plus one. And forgiving. And ambitious just boosts everything. So yeah, let's do that. Anybody else? Yeah. Let's do learning. Get you educated. I would give it to her. She's got really good traits, but she's 77, so I'm just going to have to replace the, the her uh, educator anyway, or her guardian anyway. All right, let's give it to my bishop. All right, one more, my grandson. He is showing a trait here, so... Let's go give him stewardship, I guess. Alright, whatever. Yeah. This trade doesn't is not gonna help with his prowess, but I don't care. It's not gonna affect his marshal. Yes. Alright, that was everybody. Just wanted to get that out of the way, guys. Sorry. And I am going to go on a pilgrimage really quick. I think we already went to Jerusalem. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Canterbury. We're just waiting for this claim to end. Oh. We're gonna put our... I missed this. I'm sorry. Things are kind of going fast now. We are getting bigger, so I'm getting a lot more events. And we've been going to a lot of wars, so I'm... Kind of all over the place now. I do apologize. Get a job. I said no. I said get a job. <laughs> Alright, but, um... Yes, my steward is done uh, converting the... Uh, uh, done converting Roman in Calabria. Let's have him do Rome now. And while I'm actually doing that, I don't need to be swaying this duke anymore. I'm gonna start befriending my steward so I can speed up this promote culture task. I'm also gonna probably befriend my son here.
We got a shield. All right, this is for wall mounting. You mo you it, this is a wall ornament. Wow, I paid her to make me some armor and she gave me a wall mounting. Thanks for nothing. It's telling me that I... It, see, I just got this. You should grant Pisa to somebody. Uh, Pisa... Oh my god, just stay! Pisa is the wrong type uh, for your reform of government and gives you barely any levies or taxes. So this, uh, Pisa is a, um... Is a city holding... Yeah, Pisa is the right is the wrong type for your form of government. So it's it's a city, it's a it's um it's considered a republic, like like a like a city in a in a county, a city holding. I can't hold cities because I'm a feudal I'm a feudal type ruler and my government type something that we actually haven't looked at. So I'm a I'm a, a feudal government. And Pisa wants to be a repub or wants to be a... Alright, it's asking me to give it away. Okay, I'll give it away. That's fine. I just don't want whoever I'm going to be giving Pisa to expand anymore. So maybe I'll wait to give it away. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until we're over. Once we get Florence, I'll capture Florence, then I'll give Pisa away. Cause that, cause right now we're at our domain limit. Which is fine. My, my physician is a renowned physician. I'll be fine. My physician is really good. Alright, we got another court artifact. And let me check out that wool ornament. Let's see if it's actually pretty good. No. All of these give me renown. This doesn't give me... Oh, yes it does. Plus 10. Renown, prestige, court grandeur. Alright, I don't like it. That's the worst thing I have. In my opinion. I like these better. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to befriend my steward. Alright, I don't need to improve his opinion. His opinion's already 100. I don't need to improve the scheme power, because the scheme power's already 100. I'll take monthly prestige plus 50% for two months. Thank you. Oh, I have some prisoners I need to take care of. Oh my god.
as for the rest of you. This, this, this woman's in my dynasty. This person now, oh, these two are nice. Sadistic, not so much. And he's Italian, so I wouldn't even be landing him anyway. Go. Alright, this guy is young. He might make a good knight. I'm not going to land him, but he might make a good knight. Prowess, 15. What are my knights like? I do have a lot of I do have a lot of people to draw from here. All right, I don't need them. All right. Sorry guys, that was a little tedious, but I didn't want them rotten in my dungeon. In Roma, uh, development growth plus 10%, popular opinion plus 10. Or do I want 140 gold? No thanks. Uh, no, stress. Yeah, I'll take development growth in Rome. Anything to benefit Rome, I'll do. Rome is my city, it is the city. Whatever Rome wants, Frome gets. And Rome wants Florence. I don't want the duchy title. I want the county title. I don't want the duchy. Speaking of which, we are going to conquer it right now. Boom. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow your horses. He's allied with Mar Romagna. They have four, they have 4,000. All right, we can win. Let's do it. Let's get a lot of conquest on this episode, guys. Let's, I think this will be the most conquest we've gotten. How many have we gotten? Siena, Pisa, Florence, Tivoli. This will be four counties so far. Yeah, right. Siena, Pisa, Vitoli, and then this will be four. So, yeah. The most counties conquered in a single episode. Alright, they joined him. It's fine. After we capture this, we'll be over our limit. Alright, I'm, I'm better. After we capture this, we'll be over our limit, which means that we might... Um, I know I said I was going to give Pisa away, but see, the thing is, is that I won't be the Duke of Pisa. I won't, I won't be the Duke of Pisa because I don't own the, um, I don't own the title.
but if I make the title of Pisa, I'll be over the amount of duchies that I can hold. Alright, am I fabricating anything? No, I'm not. Alright, I'm gonna fabricate one on Looney here. If, if, I, I'll feel comfortable giving Pisa away, but I just don't want to give it to a vassal and then have them be, because I just, I explained in an earlier episode, I don't like putting vassals on the borders with my enemies because then the vassal is going to take that as an opportunity to start expanding, and I don't want him to. If I, if I capture Looney first, at least I can block him from coming, from advancing north. But then he might, he might grab Luca. Alright, you know what, guys? Alright, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna give away the Duchy of, of Sicily to this guy. Take it. And then we're gonna create... Or we're gonna use Zerp. We're gonna use Zerp, the Duchy of Pisa title. And then once I win this war with Tuscany, I'll put a vassal here. I won't keep this duchy title forever, but I'll hold it for as long as I can to get these lands, like around here. I just don't want the duke that I put here to to be able to move around in advance or conquer more stuff. So once I get some of the lands around him first, then I'll create the duchy because I will own these. But let's get this war over with, guys. Our, uh, the, our duchy titles are starting to pile up. We're creating a lot of dukes, but that's fine. That's what we gotta do. They're all weak. They're all weak dukes. speed it up a little bit. Let's get this war over with. Alright, I only need a little bit of stress relief. I don't want to risk... I, I know it's only 1%, but whatever. We don't have that much stress that we need to relieve, so... Alright, I befriended my steward, which will increase the rate at which he promotes my culture. My son's next. Another stewardship perk? Yes. More money, please. And we can hold court. I'll do it after the war is over. Your king is busy running a war. I don't have time to sit in a chair and listen to people's problems. Okay, sure. Was that his wife? No, it wasn't. It was almost out of childbearing age, so this it looks like this their their son's gonna be the only one. Let's just end it now. Stop fighting. Alright. Look at 
at that. How much longer until we can go water with Pope again? Three years. Five years, four years, three years. Okay, so we've got a little bit of... We've got a little while before we can go to war again, war again, guys. All right, let's hold the court. Let's bring in the Grovelers. This guy's like, congratulations, sir, on your next war, but unfortunately, you got some Grovelers coming. They're coming to lick your boot. We're friends. I can I can take a fifteen opinion hit. I'm not gonna tutor him myself, but I'll find him somebody. They wanna build a alright, this guy wants to build a temple in Spoleto County. All right, that's fine. It's got three baronies. It's got one with a city. It's got one with a castle. All right, the last one could be a church holding. That's fine. See, now it started construction. If there's one of each, that's fine. If there was already a church holding here, for example, and he wanted to build another one here, I probably would have rejected it. Alright guys, decent amount of conquest. We are at 58 minutes, so we only got a couple more minutes here. I said I was going to give away pizza. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. I'm going to... Oh, no. I already created it. Okay, okay. I am the Duke. I'm the Duke of Pisa. But I'm not going to be the count. So I'm going to give the county of Pisa away. Somebody with good personality like this guy? No, he's got the one. You know what? I don't really care since it's, it's a... It's a... <laughs> It's a, a city holding and not like a castle holding or something. I'll give it to this guy. He's young. I'm going to keep the duchy title though. I like his personality traits. Content and patient are really good. He's only got three soldiers to his name out of a max of 32. All right, maybe he's not going to be able to conquer anything. But he doesn't have that many troops. He only has 19. All right, who do we go to war with next? Either Looney or Rome. Or the Pope. I think those are going to have to be in the next episode, though, guys. I'm sorry. We got a decent amount of conquests done. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. We just gained a level of devotion. So four counties in one episode. Not bad. It's the most we've had in an episode. And our... Con our, our and oh, my God. It looks so good, guys. I like how it looks. It's just... Italy is turning red. The world is going to turn red. I don't like this awkward little white spot, but that's okay. And we have to do something about these eventually. What's the Byzantine strength like? 14? We are catching up to the Byzantine strength, so we'll be able to fight the Byzantines soon, as long as they don't have any super strong allies. And they do. They're allied with Lothringia. Who is Resurgent? This is a new... I mean, I haven't been paying attention. I've been mostly zoomed into, like, this level, but... 
Lotharingia is relatively new. Must be relatively new. Bavaria is kind of resurgent too. There was a point where it was really big, and then it did it split up, and now it's resurging again. That's cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening in Africa. I'm not paying attention to Africa. But we will soon. We're going to get into Africa soon. But first things first, let's finish Italy. We do want to get... Um, we want to get all the lands in the Empire of Italia. First. We'll get those first. But we got... We did just go over an hour. So let me just do my housekeeping things. Everybody's okay. Line of succession. Oh, we forgot a line of succession. Can we convince our son? No. Alright, once he loses Rowdy. Once he loses Rowdy, we'll give it a try. Because that's what's really bringing it down still, so... Once he turns 16, which is in two years, we'll be able to convince him to take the vows. I mean, there's a little bit of a chance now, but I'd rather have the best chance possible. But, so far so good, guys. We've conquered a lot. We got four counties in this. We have a solid, um, our son uh, had a son. Who doesn't have the childhood trait that i want him to get but that's fine i'm gonna send he's not gonna as long as he's not gonna be bad at it i want to do i want to do stewardship and i'm actually gonna raise him myself all right guys that's all the housekeeping i can really think of but um yeah guys we have a lot to look forward to in the next few episodes but a lot of conquest in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Rome is growing. And it will continue to grow. But that's for future episodes, guys. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for watching. I will try to get the next episode out as soon as possible. But until then, have a good one, guys.